All right, short video. I've emerged from the farm now. I've just come out from the sheep field. I'll be going straight down there later to discover the, the track I've always wanted to go down. That's on the way back. After I've gone up that track there, up the bridle path which is up there, I've got to climb up that, that stony pathway to the top. As soon as I get to the top I'm turning left and going along the top there to enter the wood just slightly higher up. I thought I'd just do a little bit of videoing here, just a little bit. That's why the sky is blue for now folks because it's I just want to do a little bit along here because I think this is so beautiful, this uh, scene of the Robert Warren there. I'll zoom right into the trees. Let me just have a look. Right into their trunks. There. I'll be coming back past the little farm on the way back. On the way back, I'll be coming back down a track, sort of over there. I'm going back also to the new track I knew for me that I walked last week. It's probably a bit premature, the leaves won't be out that much more. But I thought I want to go back again. Well, the idea today was to really try and recapture some of the images I lost and I erased, formatted the memory card of this camera by accident. I thought I'd saved it and I hadn't. I was going to retrace, but the thing is, I'm going to do the hill for another day anyway, by coming on the number 51, which stops right over the other side by Churchill. I've never been on it before and I want to do that. I want to find as many possible routes in as I can, so I don't always have to climb up Cheddar Gorge. I do love this scene though. You've got that beautiful scene there, you've got that valley going down there which you can sometimes see steep home and bring down. And you've got the big farm spread out. One of the farm buildings there almost looks like it was an old chapel or church once. And then you've got the, the little farm in the in the valley, which I will be passing later when I come back along this route to find the new track, which I've p partly done, but I've never walked into Cheddar along it. But there's something really, really beautiful about this very spot. Well, it's a lovely commanding position of the Mendip Hills. A lovely view of uh, Robero. It's Absolutely quintessential, that is. I can hear the quarry behind me. There's a big quarry, a big cheddar quarry. It's just something so peaceful about this place. Originally, I was just going to go up around that track and back around this way, but I thought, no, I'm not going to do the hill fort. Not today. I decided there's plenty of time. And there's the little farm. That I will be passing in a couple of hours time. It's lovely, isn't it? It's lovely, the whole thing is lovely. And I'll be coming down that track over there later. I'll be coming meandering around that later. Well, I'm going to turn off now, just take pictures. Over and out.
Right folks, I'm right near these ponies. Quite a big group of them. Do you call them a herd when they're in a group? I think you do, don't you? They're scattered all in the bushes. I've done a bit of um, nodding as I've gone by. I'm taking a risk, but I, uh, they're usually all right. Unless you get a rogue one, I suppose. See, there's a rogue one there, he's running, look. See, if you get a rogue one like that, I've been, not, as I've told a few people in the past, I've been knocked out before now by ponies. I've been knocked out. Now you heard you fart then. I'm just doing a little video. Probably had that on Zoom as well. It's all right. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm friendly. I'm Sheila. It's Sheila. All right, I'm going that way. Or am I going to go that way? I think I'll go that way. I don't know. They're all staring at me. What I've done is I've just carried on walking. And I'll just turn around and then they all stop. They're all staring. They're all, guard, they're all on guard. Look, they've all got their heads up. I think I'll go this way, though. I don't know. Something tells me I should go on that way. Something tells me, now go this way. This is where I got lost once when I was roaming about all over here. I got lost. That one's keeping guard. He's the guard. He's, he is really keeping a big lookout. He is. Now I might end up at the same gate I came out of the other day, but from a different direction. I did sort of want to go down there, really. But, um... I haven't done, so... A little bit of a breeze up here now. Now, see, if I'd gone straight on and not turned left when I got up the top of the bridle path, I wouldn't have seen these ponies at all. Because when I was out the other day, I'd never seen any. Over and out. Right folks, just letting you know, the camera will be going out in a minute. I'm right at the top here on the area of outstanding natural beauty, not the highest point. Just past a big herd of ponies come horses and then over there if we look, we've got a load of big, big beef. I didn't see any of them the other day. Now it's a good job I decided to come this way because they're all going downwards where I intend to go was intending to go down there going that way so I'm glad I've changed course but that doesn't mean there's not 20 ahead of me in a minute I just got a feeling I'm going to come out at the same gate I went in the other day now these are bulls as well if I just zoom in again that looks like a bull to me I'll climb up a tree if I have to. He's looked over at me as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change direction. I'm going over here. If 
for a little while, get near a tree. If I have to get up a tree, because he swung his head round then and looked at me. Now I've got to look out for adders. God, look at it. Isn't it lovely though, folks? When you just go off track for a minute, you enter absolute beauty, don't you? Do you know what I mean? Well, he's a really big bull, he is. There's another big herd over there. Ah, there's a gate there. That's the gate I want to go in. I'll just swim back to that big bull again. There he is. Right up close, look at that. Glad I never went that way. Something was looking after me then. Something was looking after me. Now this gate here isn't the same one. This is slightly higher up, which is actually where I wanted to come to. This little gate here. There's no cows around it. Yeah, this is a different gate, I think. I think it is. Now this is ankle twisting country here. All these humps and bumps. But I'm heading for a little gate over there. The cows are going that way, so without knowing it, I made, um, unless there's any drifters, I made the right decision. I moved away from that cow, he swung his head when he looked at me, and I thought, oh there, don't want him charging after me. Well, I don't think they do, so I don't think they'd have them up here. But the thing is with the cows up here, if I just zoom in right over there, there's a herd. I just zoom as far as I can. There's a herd there, look. I don't think they have them out here if they were dangerous. I was up here last week taking pictures of easy jet taking off. You can see where the cows come, they come all round here. If I'd been an hour earlier, they would have all been round here. The horses have emerged for me, so let me take their photo and video them. And I'm going through a gate here. So I want to do a, a little bit of exploring of the row burrow. And basically what I'll be doing when I get in there is a type of circular. It's a lovely little tree, isn't it? These lovely hardy trees, I call them. They're so gorgeous. And if we look in over there, folks, we've got the gate. It's not the same gate. It's a different one. It's the one I wanted. It's the one I wanted. Now, if I carried on walking down, I would come to the bigger gate. I would come to the bigger gate, which is just down there a little bit further. Not that much further. I think, anyway, yeah. Yes, yeah, another pathway. Yeah, it's gorgeous so up here, isn't it? There's just another pathway that takes you back. And I missed a big, big herd of beef cattle. Enough just to take a picture of them from a distance, right? Oh, my goodness for that. Now, like I've said in the past, I like, I found a path in the wood now where I can zigzag climbing up all the time. Um, because I've climbed, I'm not just down there, but way down before now. Way down. We're going to go through this little gate, which I have done in the past. If I'd done my other route and carried on down there and then come here, I would have bumped right into that herd. I would have bumped right into them. So that was uh, instinct guiding me or somebody saying, come on, you know, we'll take you this way. Yeah, when I erased that memory card from this camera last week by accident, when I got home it was, I, I erased an awful lot of stuff because I'd done pictures of the sheep, I'd done piney slides. Um, yeah, it was... Um, so here we are, look. 
I'm going to be going down through that track there. That track there, folks, which is going to be great video, is going to take me to the other track. Our lovely track. Right, I'm going to turn off now and take some pictures of this absolute gorgeous scene, everyone. This is Sheila on the 5th of May, 2022. I've got a granddaughter who's going to be 16 in a couple of days' time. Where has the time gone? Over and out. <laughs>